Today's video is about InDesign's text box. Okay, let's make a text box. Just get your type tool, click and drag. After you do that, you can see there's a cursor flashing in the text box. So let's fill it up with dummy text. All you have to do is right click, go down to fill with placeholder text, and it fills the box up with this dummy text. Let me switch over to my regular selection tool, the black arrow tool. When you switch to this tool, now you can see handles show up in the corner. We have what's called an import and we have what's called an outport. You can also adjust it with these uh, window shade handles here too. Any way you like. Okay, let's see some other properties of this text box. I'm going to open it up a little bit by dragging this handle on the bottom. Uh, now let's switch to our text frame options. You can get to them very easily by right clicking, text frame options, or try to remember control B. Let's take a look at the text frame options. Uh, one thing that's very important is the vertical justification. By default, the vertical justification is a line top. So the text starts on the top of the box and goes down. Uh, we can change this if you need it to be centered. They're centered. Uh, bottom, sometimes depending on what you're doing, this is what you want to do. And the last one is justify. This one I don't use too often. Uh, this takes the text and spreads it out to fill up the box. So this, this will ignore any of your letting settings. Uh, let me put it back to the default. Uh, let me cancel this momentarily. You can also get to these settings up on top in the control bar here. So this one here is a line top, a line center, a line bottom, justify. So let's go back to uh, a line to the top. Okay. Another thing that happens with your text box, if this text box were too small, let me bring the handle up here, you'll see a little red cross and a red box over here. This, you'll also see in other programs, this is fairly universal. Uh, this means there's overset text. What that means is there's more text in this box than we're seeing. So in order to solve that problem, uh, you have to open up the box here until that little thing uh, disappears. Also, another way to do it is, uh, is by clicking on the box with your regular selection tool. You get this cursor and then th you can create another text box where the type will flow from one box to the next. Uh, also take a look, I have a video on text threading. So these two boxes are threaded. Uh, let me get rid of this box so I can just select it. Uh, when I delete it, it does not delete the text. It just deletes the box. Text reflows back into the original box here. Another text box property is columns. Let's get back to our text frame options. Text frame options. You'll see one of the options is columns. Let's make it three. So there we go. So when you do this, well, now we have some overset text. Uh, let's say, okay, and we'll open this up. And you see this created three columns within this text box. And you can adjust it by moving the handles up and down. Uh, let's go back to text frame options. This time I'll do control B. A uh, nice feature of this is you can just click balance columns. So this is a handy feature, uh, but let's put it back to one. Another feature of text frame options is the inset. This is sometimes important. Over here, this will bring the text in away from the edge. Uh, this is important when you're coloring your text box. Uh, you usually don't want the text to go right to the edge of the box, uh, but that is covered in another video on applying strokes and fills. So let's go back one more time. Control B. Uh, let's get rid of the inset. Put it back to zero. Let me show you one more feature for today. 
Uh, let me cancel this. I'm going to close down the text box. I should have gotten rid of the inset. Now there's another feature that can help you avoid this overset text. Let's go back one more time, control B, and that is auto resize. So over here, you can have your text box actually increase in size as needed. Over here, by default, it's off. So let's select one of these options. So height only, so it'll grow up and down, width and only uh, grow side to side. Then you have height and width. Height and width keep proportions. Uh, let's just use height only, probably the most common one you'll use. And then over here, uh, you can decide how you want it to grow. So right now, by default, it's going to grow top and bottom. If you click on this guy, for example, it's going to grow. The top is going to remain where it is, and it's going to grow from the bottom. So you can see what happened here. It already did it for you. I have the preview selected here. So let's say OK. And then let's add some more text to the bottom of this box. So I'll just copy a little piece here, do a copy. And actually, I just paste it in right after it. I'll hit the Enter key, do a Control V to paste, and you'll see this box will automatically grow as needed. OK, so that's about it for today. And I'll see you again. Bye bye.